Hey guys, this is Gala, one of the physios at Oneness Embodied, and today we will continue a little bit more uh, talking about balance because it's our balance week. So last time we talk or we say that our balance system is controlled by three subsystems. One is the vision, the second one is the vestibular system on our inner ear, and today we will explain a bit more our, about our proprioceptive system. That is the one that gives our brain information about where our every single body part of our body is. Um, for example, now that I'm sitting, I can tell that my back is straight. Even if I close my eyes, I can know that I'm sitting on a chair, that my feet are on the ground, that my hands are moving. And that's thanks to all the receptors that we have on our skin, muscles and joints that are sending information to our brain. So, um, researchers have found that Training uh, your balance and that reaction system is very important in any person, even if you have, haven't had an injury. So to, for athletes or sports people um, to import, uh, improve their performance, uh, balance training should be included in the training program. Um, the easiest way to explain what our proprioceptive system does and why we should be training um, and improve our balance uh, are injuries, but it's people that don't have injuries can that should still include these exercises in their program. So, for example, let's say you have a sprained a uh, sprained ankle. You sprain your ankle. Um, that means one of your ligaments in your ankle has broken a little bit, has tore, and that means uh, you will have to start doing physio to recover the movement and the strength and also the balance. So most of the time, people will do train, uh, strengthening training. They will realize that they're feeling better, the strength is back. They can probably run on a treadmill. And if they're a soccer player, they say, okay, I'm feeling good. I'm going to go to play again. I'm going to go into game and start uh, playing again. But what happens is when you go to that soccer field, um, you're not on a treadmill anymore. There are multiple factors that can affect your balance and different disturbances that can make you fall or re-injure your ankle. So losing balance doesn't always mean falling. You can have an injury again because you can't control your body in the proper way. So if you're a soccer player, you go to the soccer court, uh, field. Um, sometimes the ground can be slippery, the grass can be too long or too short and your soccer shoes get stuck in there and there is a ball, you can kick in the wrong way, and you have 11 other players coming towards you trying to get that ball. So there are multiple disturbances that can affect you, and you have to have the proper reaction and balance to avoid having an injury again. So that's why it's so important in anyone's training to include this balance and vestibular training, to have the appropriate reaction apart from the proper strength that you need to be doing any sport or activities. So if you would like to know a bit more about how to improve your performance, how to recover properly after an injury, um, give us a call, send us an email, we are happy to answer your questions. We also do like, um, we do weekly balance and vestibular training class uh, that goes for one hour and is personalized and functional to everyone. Um, depending of the activities you do and the type of work you do and the injury or no injury that you have had. So give us a call if you need more information.